that. Let me get some of this delicious yummy. Lord have mercy. I know this is going to taste good. Welcome to Jill's Comfort Zone. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, you guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Jill's Comfort Zone. JCZ fans, welcome back. If you're new here, pull up a seat. Relax and come join us in the kitchen tonight. All right. And click that subscribe button right down there, right there, and turn it gray. And hit that notification bell for when I am coming to you with more recipes, you shall be notified. All right, guys, you know what today is? It is Healthy Moments with Jill's Comfort Zone. Yes, every Saturday at 8 p.m., we do this. Eating more healthier, doing healthy things, just so we can love on ourselves better. You know, we eat a lot of foolishness sometimes, so let's make it right. So guys, today what I am bringing to you is a delicious meal that I've seen several people making and it, I just had to try it. So today what I'm making, guys, I am making a special spaghetti squash lasagna and oh I can't wait to taste this this is my first time I'm gonna try this stitch I never had spaghetti squash before so I've had squash but I haven't had spaghetti squash so I'm sure all squash is the same semi taste no taste right so we gonna make this baby tasty y'all ready to come along with me all right so let's get into this dish and join me over here with the ingredients i'll be back all right guys here we go here we go so as you can see before you <clears throat> everything that we need is right here and ready so the cheeses we are using tonight for this lovely lovely dish is going to be mozzarella cheese parmigiano reggiano and gouda uh, mild and creamy cheese. And I believe that's all the cheeses that I am gonna use tonight, okay? All right, and so you see the sauce is up there, so I am gonna make my delicious, um, I am gonna make my delicious spaghetti sauce. So that's why I have the crush, um, crushed to can of crushed tomatoes, the plum tomatoes, and the tomato paste there. So that's why I have those lovely things there so I can make those. Um, so here we are, let's start in the back with our dry seasonings next. So what's gonna go all in this lovely dish is gonna be onion powder, garlic powder, Himalayan salt, uh, ground coranda, herbs de Provence, a little turmeric, some gar I mean some, some um, paprika, ground cumin, black pepper um and i believe that is oh and some fennel here that i have here that i just grind up some fennel seeds so i have those there some fennel and then we're going to come with our veggies which is going to be i forgot to take it out i am also adding some um excuse me some fresh broccoli in here as well okay so we're gonna have some broccoli spears in there. Uh, I have some onions so I can chop up. That's gonna go with um, my sauce as well as the ground uh, lamb. This is what we're making. We're using ground lamb, guys. So I don't know if I need both of these though. So I'm using ground lamb um, with this dish. So that's gonna be our meat sauce, okay? I got two cloves of, um, cloves of garlic, which I'm about to do three of those. We're gonna peel those up and mince them. Then um, the onion, like I said, is for both dishes. We have some parsley, we have some oregano, and we have our basil. So this is gonna go in the sauce as well as the meat. And yes, I am also 
mixing and blending in some spinach, okay? Which is also not up here. As you can see, I got my red green peppers and some onions already diced. So we're gonna put it in our lo lovely Ninja Foodie blender, yeah, yes, to make our sauce. I love that machine. And if you want to use, if you want to buy that, purchase that product, I have my affiliates link in the description section down below, okay? So, this is all we're using. So, let's get started building these beautiful flavors. So, I'm going to get this squash sliced, washed, sliced, and then... Um, prep it so we can get ready to hit it in the oven so I'll be back hey guys I'm back I'm back so cleaned scraped out oh this baby was hard you see I had to burp this one open I, I know it's, it doesn't look all cute and pretty right you know what <laughs> hey I should just cut that part off huh but you know what I'm not so cleaned it all that good stuff up in here. This was hard to cut open, so Lord, just be prepared, okay? So now what we're gonna do here, we're gonna spray some extra virgin olive oil over these babies. Get them coated in that oil. So how do you make your spaghetti squash? And we're gonna roast these for about 40 minutes in the pre um preheating oven but yeah we're going to coat this with some oh I love a seed coat this nicely with that oil alright guys like I was saying you're gonna put this in the oven a preheated oven at 450 degrees this is gonna cook for about 40 minutes so now that we got our oil all rubbed on there, I'm gonna take one glove off because I need to do my seasoning. So I'm just gonna season this with some salt, pepper, onion, onion powder, garlic powder. I also sprinkled some dried fennel on them. You know I love the seasonings. And so we're gonna rub it all in, right? And then pop these babies on the cookie sheet. I'm making a mess today. A mess. <laughs> a mess. Won't be too heavy on it, but Okay. So I got my water boiling to drop my plum tomatoes in there. Yeah, I just want to just make sure the seasoning is, I ain't really got to touch too much of it, you know? Because I don't want it to spread all over the place. I think that'll be good. I just want to make sure the outside got some of that seasoning on it okay like around there but I did I did a good job I think I'm good I'm gonna leave that just like that rub it in just a little bit so that the seasoning is just not sitting in there clumped up you feel me yeah I know y'all feel me so we're gonna lay them with the flesh side down, okay? Side down on the cookie sheet. I think I am gonna cut that part off so I can make sure that it is laying flat on there. Yes, and once I pop this in the oven, I'ma get started on browning up my meat with that delicious, um, so you can see 
because you don't need to see me cut and do all that. So I have them all on this cookie sheet here. And so they're going to go pop in this oven and we're going to cook them for about 40 minutes. So I'll be back. So I got this pan going and this pan right here is going to be for my spaghetti sauce, okay? My pasta sauce. So the chunks are big, I know, but you know that Ninja Foodie Blender is going to, I mean, it's going to blend it up really nice, nicely. So I can do that. Yeah, so. Throw some garlic in there and just cook that up a little bit more. So I'm going to cook this all up, throw it in the blender <coughs> with my crushed canned tomatoes, tomato paste. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. And some, um, you know, along with my herbs and stuff. You could go to the um, mushroom pizza to get the recipe that I used for the sauce, red sauce, okay? So we're going to cook this down. I sprinkled a little bit of, yeah, go to that. <laughs> so we're just going to get these cooked down really nicely. And I want to just start smelling that garlic a little bit. And then I'm going to pull this off, pour it in the foodie blender with my tomatoes, my plum tomatoes and stuff and get that started so it takes about 30 minutes in the foodie blender cook up in the meanwhile i'm about to get this pan ready for our um for our ground uh lamb meat okay so i'll be right back <clears throat> welcome back guys so i already started cooking down the I didn't add the garlic to here yet, so this is just the onions and green peppers and stuff. And this is for this is for our meat, our lamb meat sauce. So I'm gonna cook this down so it won't. We can get all of the water out of the mushrooms. Don't think I mentioned that to you guys, did I? So yeah, I'm using baby portobello uh, mushrooms. Okay, and I don't think I've mentioned to you, but we are also using that New York cheddar sharp cheese, okay? So that's going to be along with our other cheeses, okay guys? And so I'm going to cook this down, and then I will return once we start adding the meat into here, okay? I don't know if you guys can see this or not. I'm sorry about the running water. But here is our roasted spaghetti squash. All right? So you can come with me real quick because I should have had everything pulled out for you guys, right? I know. No, you know how it is up in here. This is live TV, real action. I ain't gonna sit here and do them all with you, but I will do a few. This is really hot. Okay, so we're gonna pull, and that's how it looks, hot. And we're gonna just comb, woo, hot, okay? <laughs> I was just trying to give you a close up, okay? So that's what I'm over here doing. So I'll be back to show you. We're gonna do this with all four of these babies. Put them in a bowl and get them ready so we can start building our lasagna. So I will be back. Hey guys, came back real quick, I forgot. Don't forget your I can't believe it's not butter or regular butter. But remember, we're gonna do a little bit healthy moments. So I'm going to get a little bit of this. So we already got our olive oil in there. We're just going to put a nice little amount of that. Give it some nice little flavor going on in here. 
and let these cook, continue cooking down. And then I'm gonna add, then I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic, minced garlic that I minced up. And then we're gonna get to playing around with the squash, okay? All right, be back. All right, guys, we are ready. We are ready to add. I got the garlic in there now, so I, we don't want that to burn. So now it's time to add our ground, um, time to add our ground lamb to this lovely dish. And I'll be back. Y'all. So I already told you what we all putting in here. So just go back to the beginning. That's all the seasonings I just blessed this dish with. And so now we're going to cook this ground lamb meat up. If you pies can only just smell what is going on in here. Oh, and you know what I'm going to do with this? Half of this meat, I am going to separate. And I am going to use the lamb meat, uh, ground lamb meat, cooked ground meat for something else. So, yes. This is gonna be delicious. I couldn't even imagine making a small pot of chili. So yes, before I put the lamb, the sauce in this pan, after I drain this, of course, um, I'm gonna separate some and put it away for another flavorful dish. Yes, so. Yeah, two meals in one, you can make it out of this. But it smells so delicious. That coranda, oh my God, the cumin, the garlic. Oh goodness, I can, oh, it smells really good. I'll be back. Oh, and I just wanted to give you a peek to what it should look like, so. There is your spaghetti squash, roast it. Okay, I'm gonna taste some because I haven't tasted any before. See what it tastes like. Hmm, okay. So this is ready to come up out of the pan, drained, returned to. I'm gonna put it in a sauce pot with my homemade uh -huh, spaghetti sauce and uh, red sauce, thick red sauce, I guess you could call it. And then we'll be, I'm gonna let that rock for about 15 minutes, the sauce simmer down so the lamb and everybody can get married together. And then we'll be assembling our spaghetti squash lasagna. Be right back. All right. So we're going to pour our homemade sauce in here. All right. Let's see. Just trying to make sorry guys. <laughs> I'm all a block in the scenery, huh? I apologize. And like I said, we're gonna let this simmer. Mix this all up. We done drained the meat. Put it in here. And get it all coated with our sauce. I'ma just so I don't waste any. Get all that sauce out of there. And I don't know, it doesn't look like the bright red, right guys? You know? But it has all nothing but love in it. But what I am going to do is, I'm going to dash it with, and I already taste my sauce. Some more of the crushed 
tomatoes, okay? And so now I'm going to doctor this baby up, okay? So I'm just gonna add a little bit more salt, pepper, onion, garlic powder because I kinda went lightly when seasoning the meat. So, and I didn't go heavy on the seasoning in the sauce neither, okay? So, I'll be back to show you how we are going to pull this wonderful dish together, all right? And pop it in the oven, so stay tuned. Good morning, day two. Me, the devil is a liar, I'm back. I'm gonna finish this dish. He was playing, I prayed over it. So my stove, threw up my squash, spaghetti squash lasagna was cooking. And then the stove cut off and made a key cooking. Um, so I'm at it again. I'm gonna finish this video, okay? Healthy moments coming for you, from me. So this is why I got on a new show. It's a new day. Let's get started. Oven's on right now, because God said, no. I will get this video out today, okay? Because we gonna do this. I'm on my grind. Join you at the couch. <sighs> hey guys. <laughs> I tell you, the devil is tempting. You know, trying to tip in my kitchen. Be gone. I'm here to finish this dish, okay? We about to do this. So, this is what we're doing. We're layering for our spaghetti, lasagna, okay? Squash spaghetti, lasagna. Spread this out. My God. Ain't he good, y'all? Mm-hmm. He gonna make sure let me see if y'all can see in the pan. Can you see? Can you see? I love you can see. I want you to see. Down in this pan. Deliver us. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Can you see now? Alright. So. I'm gonna put this lamb sauce down in the bottom right like so so what I did was I had to put everything up right guys and I want this to cook properly you know what I'm saying so I'm gonna put a few of these just scattered in here these are two bigger pieces I meant to break it up some and I want it all big and pushy Jazz, sweetie, could you come here for a second? So, like so, I should have broke this up. Okay, so we're gonna drop, look, my hands is clean, okay? We're gonna drop some of this here. I'm gonna get a bowl and mix some of this up in the sauce as well, which I should have done um, at the beginning. Huh. Okay, so we wanna make sure that we have some layered here get some mozzarella cheese going on here maybe I shouldn't have used my fingers <laughs> I'm back I washed my hands off okay so we're gonna get this mozzarella cheese going on down in here a little bit there and I already told you the other cheeses we're using Yeah, we bringing the cheese. We bringing the cheese, baby. Oh, yeah. All right. I think. I don't think I could have eaten this. <coughs> lightly. Lightly. This is going to be so delish. I can't wait. 
So, how are you guys doing today? I had a rough morning and my heart was heavy this morning, but <clears throat> praise God, praise God, okay, for another day to be amongst the living. All right, <clears throat> so you guys see what I'm doing. So you just lather, and this is all going to spread in here once it, it's going to melt down and start spilling over into this wonderful dish. You see where I'm going with it. I don't have to show you the whole groove of this. I'll be back. Okay, my lovely people. This is ready to go in the oven. Top with some cheese on the top of our wonderful cheese blend. Yeah, yeah. So good. I ended up not putting the spaghetti squash in the sauce. We're going to bake this for about 20 minutes. And so you guys stay tuned to the finished dish. And I shall return shortly. All right, let's hit it. A little bit of herbs mixture. So you got your parsley, your basil, and your oregano. Oh, I mean, yeah. I want to taste those herbs. Stay tuned for the finished dish. I'll be back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Yes, guys, look at that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let me get some of this delicious yummy. All the oil in there from the cheese. Lord have mercy. So. I was trying to pull it out. Lord have mercy. Okay. Ooh, messy. Messy. Healthy moments with Jill. Ooh, I know this is going to taste delicious. I don't want to take too much out of here. But I just... I just needed to get that cheese. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Baby, I know, I know, I know this is going to taste bomb. God, I'm back, guys. Hi, 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 this deliciousness. Oh, my. You know? Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. It's time for taste testing of this delicious meal. Um, let me see if I can fix you guys. To come a little bit down so you can see me in the food all right so here we have it spaghetti squash lasagna cooked with ground lamb and tons of love in this dish so I will do the honors of giving you guys the first bite. I'm gonna make sure I got the squash, the broccoli, that ground lamb, that cheese, and all that good stuff, okay? So let's come with it. Come on on here. I'll give you the first bite. Got it? All right. First time for me. Mm. The tons of garlic flowing through here. Mm. All those wonderful cheeses in there. Mmm. Oh my. Oops. <laughs>
if you try this recipe, please let me know. <clears throat> Tag me in it. I'd love for you guys to try this. Looks like we're crooked, huh? Uh, sorry. But anyway, thank you guys for coming. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share me out to your family and friends. This shirt just want to show whatever. Please share me out to your family and friends. Let them know what we're doing over here at Jill's Comfort Zone. Okay? Okay. And don't forget to comment down below. Let me know what you like to see Jill cook next. Let me know what you think about this video. All right? And I hope you enjoy it. I love, love, love conversing with you guys. Always, always. Um, I know sometimes it takes me a minute to get to you, but I will. And don't forget to subscribe if you're liking what you see. Why not? Come on the board. All I want to do is love on you while you love on me. All right? That sounds good. And don't forget to click that notification bell so you can be notified for when I am coming to you with another video like this. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you guys for coming and thank you for all of your support. So with that being said, as I always say, I love you, stay blessed, and peace out. Keep watching. Until next time. Bye -bye.